Austin Hannon. I am Mason Smith, and this is Just a Minute. Austin, there are a lot of players that have certain storylines coming into spring football season and being ready for the fall. And one that's really interesting is Tyrion Arnold. Of course, he was a cornerback last season, had an up and down, you know, season as he had the job, lost the job. Now there's a lot of talented guys. And, you know, he spoke to the media the other day, some that, you know, me and some of the other coworkers that we have at Bemer Central were wondering if he would because it was such a rocky season for him. So, Austin, let's just cut to the chase. What are your expectations for Tyrion Arnold going into the season? Yeah, I think this is a great question that you bring up this morning. I like Tyrion Arnold. I think he kind of got a bad rep because he did have times last year when maybe he wasn't as consistent as he was, as Bama fans would have liked him to be. Uh, but he kind of was honest with us yesterday in, in the media room saying, hey, that was kind of the first time I've ever played cornerback. Um, the reason he did it was because they were kind of low with that position other than Kool-Aid. Um, he was kind of thrown in there as a redshirt freshman. Really first time playing the position was a freshman All-American, freshman All-SEC. Obviously, he made that game-winning play against Texas A&M on the goal line on October 8th. Um, and I think he's going to make big strides this year. I think it, it it means a lot when you have a second year in a, in a system and a new position. Uh, we heard Saban say also that, that he played a little bit of star in the scrimmage last week, uh, which would be interesting because we, we I kind of assumed that Malachi Moore would take over that spot for Brian Branch since that's where he used to play um, two and three years ago. But yeah, he talked to us last year and kind of said, hey, this, that was my first year. Like, we're kind of getting used to it. I'm getting used to playing alongside Kool-Aid still. Um, but they seem to have a good relationship. And I think they both have confidence in each other to get the job done this season. Absolutely do. Now, the one thing that's interesting to me about Tyrion is that, yes, it was your first year playing corner. And I do believe in the year one to year two adjustments, he'll be a much better player. But the question now becomes, will he have the time to do so? I mean... The defense probably brought in the most talented core of cornerbacks that we've seen in a long time at Alabama. You know, Desmond Riggs, Eli Riggs' little brother, you know, is, is one among them. So now my, now my concern is, will he have the chance to kind of show himself? And I think he's doing so because he's talking like he's taking the first team reps. He's going against the first team guys. So I think it'll be a really big deal for him to, you know, show that, hey, last year was true growing pains. Yes, I made some mistakes. Uh, I didn't look great on film at times. But that's because, again, it was my first year playing the position. You give me a spring, you give me a second year, I'm going to light the, I'm gonna light up the, the scoreboard. So hopefully Tarion and the rest of the Alabama Divas can do so, starting with the spring game on April 22nd. And we will be there with that coverage, along with coverage all around Alabama Athletics. So with Awesome Hannon, I'm Mason Smith. This is Just a Minute. Thank you so much for watching.